Question. Which of the following films has won Best Film Award at the Filmfare Awards 2023? Option A. Badhai Do. Option B. Vadh. Option C. Gangu Bai Kathia Vadi. Option D. Brahmastra Part 1 Shiva. Correct answer Gangu Bai Kathia Vadi. Gangu Bai Kathia Vadi and Badhai Do were among the big winners at the Filmfare Awards the 28th of April. The 68th Hyundai Filmfare Awards was held at Geo Convention Center, BKC. Katia Wadi won 10 trophies including some of the biggest awards. Wadi Best Director Sanjay Leela Bhansali for Gangu Bai Katia Wadi Best Film Critics Badhai Do Best Actor Critics Sanjay Mishra for Vadh Best Actress Critics Bhumi Pedinekara for Badhai Do Taboo for Bhul Bhulaya 2 Best Music Album Preetam for Brahmastra Part 1 Shiva Best Lyric Samita Abu Bhattacharya for Kesarya Brahmastra Part 1 Shiva Best Playback Singer Mail Rajit Singh for Kesarya Brahmastra Part 1 Shiva Best Playback Singer Female Kavita Set for Rangi Sari Jug Jug G or Hence, C is the correct answer. Question. Who has won Goldman Environment Prize for fighting against illegal mining and large-scale projects aimed at facilitating soybean exports in the Topaz Os River Basin? Option A. Atero Mostanin. Option B. Delhi Mashalalahi. Option C. Alessandra Korup. Option D. Chilekwa Mamba. Correct answer Alessandra Korab Goldman Environment Prize was awarded to Munduruku leader Alessandra has been awarded for fighting against illegal mining and large-scale projects aimed at facilitating soybean exports in the Topaz Os River Goldman Environmental Prize honors the achievements and leadership of grassroots environmental activists around the 2023. The Grassroots Award recognized activists from Zambia, Indonesia, Turkey. Finland, the United States and Alessandra from Brazil. Goldman Environmental Prize is an award given annually to grassroots environmental activists from each of the world's six geographic regions Africa, Asia, Europe, Islands, and Island Nations, North America, and South and Central. C is the correct answer. Question. Which of the following has launched Preet Initiative to better prepare for future pandemics? Option A World Bank, Option B World Health Organization, Option C Ministry of Health, Option D International Intergovernmental Organizations. Correct answer World Health Organization The World Health Organization WHO has launched the Preparedness and Resilience for Emerging Threats Spreit initiative has been launched to better prepare the world for future outbreaks of current focus of Preit will be on respiratory initiative was launched at the global meeting for future respiratory pathogen pandemics held on 24 the 26th of April 2023 in Geneva Switzerland. The PREP monitoring framework is a list of actions of countries to work to be achieved by December. B is the correct answer. Question. UAE and which country have finalized the terms of Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement CHIPA? Option A. Cambodia. Option B. Japan. Option C. France. Option D. Iran. Correct answer. Cambodia. UAE and Cambodia have finalized the terms of Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement CHIPA. The negotiations have got completed with the signing of a joint statement by Dr. Thani bin Ahmad Al Ziori, UAE Minister of State for Foreign Trade, and Pan Sorasak, Cambodia's Minister of CHIPA, will increase bilateral trade between both countries by removing tariffs and reducing non tariff trade barriers. It will promote trade in goods, services, and investment. The non-oil trade between both countries was 401 million US dollars in 2022, more than 31% compared to terms of investments. Bilateral FDI had reached 3.8 million US dollars by the end of A is the correct answer. Question. By how much percentage has the index of eight core industries increased in March 2023 as against the index of March 2022? Option A 2.8, Option B 3.6, Option C 4.9, Option D 5.2. Correct answer 3.6 index of eight core industries increased by 3.6 in March 2023 as against the index of March production of coal, fertilizers, steel. Natural gas and refinery products increased in March 2023 over March March 2023. Crude oil, power and cement output fell by 2.8, 1.8 and 0.8. 
coal, fertilizers, steel, natural gas and refinery products output recorded growth by 12.2, 9.7, 8.8, 2.8 and 1.5. Has revised final growth rate of ICI for December 2022 to 83 from its provisional level 7.4. Hence, B is the correct answer.